So today is day two of the Skull Merchant experiment. If you guys weren't here for the for day one before, um, first off, I you know I don't blame you. Uh, but second off, basically what it is, basically what it is, is we're going to play some games anywhere from five to ten games, depending on my mood today. Um, and we're going to see how many DCs, how many people give up on Hook, and how many toxic comments we get just from playing the Skull Merchant. Literally nothing else. We're not going to, we're not going to play some sweaty quad slowdown build. We're not going to tunnel. We're not going to do any of that. We're just going to play the skull merchant as if we would play any other killer. So let's, uh, let's, let's see how that all, let's see how that all turns out. Oh boy. Garden of Jagoffs. Cause that's what I want to fucking play on today. Oh, do to do to do, do. Hello, my friend. Hello, my dear. Hello, my dear. Am I going to get blinded? No. Hey, check it out. There's a pain res right here. Oh, that's fair. Mm, you're probably the better target since you've got a lock-on stack. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, her keyboard broke, chat. There's definitely another... <laughs> I could have just swung at her there. Okay. Aha, she'll never expect the locker bait. Hmm, it's about right. Let's go ahead and pain res that gin. I leave that drone up, right, chat? Like, for sure I leave that drone there. Oh, they left this area. Oh, hello. How did that fucking hit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In what reality does that land, dude? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, chat, we got two DCs, bro. Every day, I'm nutting right now. Blue, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that for three months. All right, so we got two DCs, chat. That's crazy. Can we get three? That's two DCs in the early game. I've gotten three hooks with three pain res procs. Wait, do you lose your lock-on stacks when you get hooked? Oh, you lose them when you get downed. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. I thought lock-on stacks just kind of stayed there. Okay. You ever notice that the bots move really weird? Ah! 
Save a pain raise for the late game? I don't even know if I'd need it, to be honest. Like, we're about to kill this bot right here. Not a single gen has been done. one killer with very little skill expression yeah very little skill expression but actually a pretty decently medium skill ceiling because you have to be able to know where is the fuck is this elodie anyway you have to be able to know when to um when to use your your drones like you don't want to you don't ever want to uh you don't want to just spam drones like some skull merchants i've seen do you want to, like, actually put them in places that are important? Because, like, some Skull Merchants will just, like, run around just spamming drones left and right and not accomplish anything. Honestly, not dropping that pallet once was insane. That was some of the greediest pallet play I've ever seen in my life. And I watch a lot of Mish. <laughs> like with decision based skill expressions rather than mechanical well and that's what that's what uh, Skull Merchant kind of is she's a decision based killer oh my god I suck She's a decision-based killer. She, what you do with her is based solely on, like, you have to have good decision-making with her. If you're just walking around, just tossing the drones up at every opportunity, you're gonna fail. Like, unapologetically going to fail. All right, I'm not saying you're not aware, Fluffle. We're just having a, we're having a discussion about Skull Merchant. Cause like I've watched I've watched some Skull Merchant mains before where they just what they'll do is they'll walk from one side of the map and just start throwing drones out off cooldown and then they're like oh Skull Merchant actually isn't that powerful as you can clearly see uh, watch exactly how less powerful Skull Merchant is uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh I would watch Squidward stream DVD. That's a random thought. I'd have prefer to have chase expression. Yeah, no, no, no. I get what you're saying, Fluffle. I get what you're saying completely. I was just, I was just saying. I, I think that, I think that there's a community perception that the Skull Merchant is kind of brainless when she's not. I think in general, there's just a community. Um, just go watch True Talent. 
Now you you want to wit you want to witness a fucking whiny baby stream Dead by Daylight? Just go watch True Talent. God, I do not like that man. Do we find Hatch? He is an OG in DBD. I don't care. Doesn't make him any le any more likable. When I first came to this scene, he was one of the people that was just really insufferable to listen to. What a weird hatch spawn. Hey, what's up, Potato Devil? How you doing, baby? I agree with you, Sonic. GG's. So chat, if you're curious about why I went for the lunge from so far from so far away, it's because I had the, I was under the haste effect. Um, if you are under the haste effect, your lunge is effectively increased by the amount of uh, speed by the amount of speed your haste has. So, lunges that normally wouldn't hit will hit under the haste effect. Generally speaking. Only two of them are globes, or two of them aren't globes, and it's the two that DC'd, so they're probably not still here. Okay. My Aunt Legion for the first time was on a Discord call, and a friend jokingly said, uh... Damn, man, Legion is OP. First game and two people already TC'd. If I remember correctly... Oh. If I remember correctly... Hello, my friend! Uh, when Legion first released, he was really fucking overpowered. The instant save? Hello? <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you weren't getting out of that one, shooter. Well, I was undetectable, Braddy, so she probably wasn't looking behind her. Oh, hello. You instantly took off. You said, nope, I'm not. <laughs> she instantly fucking took off, chat. She was like, nah, nah, we're not standing in a loop. I know better than that. Yeah.
If you're wondering why I recalled the uh, the drone chat, it's because I didn't. It, it that wasn't a good place for it to stay. Um, it was better to not keep the drone there. Oh my god, I fucked up so bad. Hello. Hi. -ya! Hey, what you guys doing over here? Having a party? Why are you not healed up? Friend. What possesses you to not be healed by now? A slightly annoying thing about, um... A slightly annoying thing about Skull Merchant is when you pick someone up, it makes a sound like you're going to, uh, someone's sabbling a hook. That was such an unnecessary trade. You had no reason to trade right there. You could have ran away and let somebody else save him. And she gave up on second hook. Okay. Do we count that, chat? I think we count that. I honestly think we count that as giving up because, like, that was her fault. She traded there. She went down for that for a very unnecessary trade. Yeah. Hello, Quentin. I've been looking for you. For this entire... Oh, no, you're... Meg. Alrighty, then. Hey, what's up, Shadow? Hey, Guardian. Yeah, so we're gonna go... Yeah, so she gave up... She gave up on second hook. In the early game. Why she gave up, I don't know if it's because she's uh, it's because I'm Skull Merchant. She might blame it on me being Skull Merchant, but realistically speaking, sh that was her fault. Exclamation point SM. Am I stupid? I didn't see him. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's it. Pre-drop is uh, an interesting choice. Wait, he just lost a health state, and I didn't. I didn't lose save stacks. Um. Uh, behavior. I think this might be an oversight. I think that might be an oversight. Alrighty then. It's not a bug? Well, it's an oversight. What happened when the Quinton received the uh, claw trap and got broken? I didn't lose save stacks. Technically lose a health state? I, they, 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 they technically did. Jones don't count as a special attack. Huh. I thought it was just whenever the... the. I just thought it was whenever they lose a health state. 
They changed it from a health state to a special attack. But why? Doesn't it make more sense for a health state? They changed it because of for the people. I don't agree with that change. Plot twist with it? Hmm. Kaiser, it's behavior. What do you expect? What, do you, what does that mean? What does that even mean? Granted, I didn't play when the, um... I didn't play when the... The change went live, so I don't know how much of a problem it actually was, but... I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to add something like that, then it's probably best if you, like, keep it consistent. Hey, what's up, Dark Tings? How you doing, buddy? They're all globes, so we're not going to get any comments. Okay. The thing I like about Skull Merchant is that her weapon animation is different depending on which one she's using. There's a couple killers who do it, who, who work like that. But yeah, Skull Merchant is the most prominent one as far as I know. I think we put, yeah, we put a drone dead center of main. Because survivors really like to run to main when they're, when they're trying to loot. Did you see how long he held that flashlight? That's wild. Wait, where the fuck did he go? Uh... What? God damn. Probably because when a killer saw survivors have OP... Wait, what? What? OP survive... What do you... What? What does that mean? What absolute moron is like, Oh, that survivor's OP. There's no difference between the survivors. I gotta break it here. I'm gonna break this door too. Each killer has different MMR, but not vastly different. <laughs> no fucking shot. No fucking shot. I just got fuckled up, bro. That's wild, dog. No fucking shot. That drone play was so smooth and I get fuckled up. That's actually crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? Here comes the fucking Beamer Brigade. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Greedy, Fung. Greedy, greedy, greedy. I'm gonna get fucking pallet stunned here, though, aren't I? No? Okay. Well, that's nice. I still have four pain res stacks, by the way. Meaning that none of the people... No, they're, they're, oh, wait. There we go. We finally got one, chat. Let me take that away. I'm gonna keep those two. I'm gonna keep that one over there. Why not? Okay, Dark Dings. Have fun, my friend. Oh, she just ran through. She's going for that save. I think we're going to leave her. I think we're going to let her go for that save, because, um... Yeah. Because of this. Will I get pallet stunned here? Yep. Nope. <laughs> Where's Yuichi? He's this way. Right over here. Yeah. Pretend to break the pallet. You got this, Braddy. I believe in you. Alright, let's go find this Fung. Hello, Fung. You drop that pallet for me, sweetheart? I, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I was pretty sure I backed the fuck up there, but I guess not. I basically have so much pressure chat that I had enough time to dedicate everything to this. Raise the BP cap to like four to five mil. I agree. I'm gonna take that. We'll recall that one. Yeah, you weren't getting out of that one, darling. Why didn't I gave a gain a save stack for hitting the the fung that was deep wounded?
She activated her stip. She activated her stip dick, so I'm not even gonna bother, chat. As if I didn't clearly see her activate that. I lost her. Oh, hello. Oh, it was a syringe she activated, I see. Well, no point in chasing her now, she's not injured. Everybody's death hook now. Put one right here. I'm gonna recall these two, that, and that. Now it's time to start preparing for the end game chat. We're gonna go ahead and put one right here. So just kind of a centerpiece to the whole map, or to the whole of main. we put one right here. Let's get them all injured. almost had that chat. So the reason I wanted to get them all injured, chat, is because in the even if they even if two of them that I wasn't chasing went to heal, that's still 32 seconds that they wouldn't have had to work on a gin, which would have given me more than enough time to catch the um to catch the person I was chasing. They had two options. They either commit to the gin or they um they either commit to the gin or they uh, or they heal up. And either way, I'm doing better. <laughs> Keep thinking tomorrow is Monday? I'm honestly surprised my days haven't been blending together more. I think it's because I need to be aware of, um... I think it's because I need to be aware of uh, what days I have to donate. Which, if you guys weren't in the Discord... Oh my god. If you guys weren't in the Discord, um, there may not be any streams next week, depending on uh, if the bruise on my arm clears up so that I can donate plasma. They got down to one gin. Pretty, pretty good. And none of them DC'd or gave up, so. That was a, that was an extremely good match. It was very, very hard, very tough. Globes? Nope, none of them are globes. I wonder if any of them are gonna talk.
K-Y-E-S. <laughs> uh, you think you're slick with that one, huh? That was a toxic comment, chat. Good to know. Game four. This one's actually kind of rough. First, let's check and see if the main building is one of the ones they can escape from or not. It is. So we're going to break this wall off the bat. Go ahead and put this here because they will try to run this. And we found a Meg. That was the easiest pre-drop uh, pre in the world. This is also a good... Why did it float way the fuck down there? I mean, it's fine, because it's still, it's still making a strong loop a little bit weaker, but Jesus. Alrighty. We've been on her too long, chat. We're going to go check other gens. Ten percent, nice. Put one up on this hill. Hello, Kate. Let's see if we can get an injure on you in the first ten seconds of the chase. Probably not. Oh, never mind. Nice. Does she have balanced? That might have been balanced. Oh, this, this, this is broken over here, honey. Oh. Good injure, good injure. Here we go. I'm going to leave this at this loop here. Windows of opportunity user chat? It's a Kate. It's probably windows of opportunity. Oh, please. Okay, well, we've got two injured with a couple of lock-on stacks. That's pretty decent amount of pressure. Let's see what we can do here. This was a bad place to put that drone. I'm going to take that away. Well, at least we got the hit, right? This is actually, this match is actually a lot harder right now. Oh, hello. Yeah, we are doing very bad right now. Holy, what? That's crazy. We are doing extremely terribly right now. One hook with two gins completed is very, very bad for us. Uh, we've managed to regress the most uh, the most progressed gin by quite a bit. Right, let's go ahead and break this. I feel like we put one in shack right now. All right, so the obsession just got broken, and they're deactivating that right there. Who's over here? Good to know. What's everyone's favorite flavor of ice cream? Mint chocolate chip. Now we're getting a good tracking on the Kate. Hello, Kate. Let's see if we can catch you here. 
Is this vault? This vault is kind of annoying, but it's not that... Oh, she didn't even try to take it. Yeah, she's got windows, chat. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rage? Oh, mint chocolate chip is amazing. I haven't had strawberry in a long time. Like, the last time I had Neapolitan ice cream was when I had strawberry. Also, the Claudette didn't take a pain res stack, so the next time we down her, we need to look for a scourge hook if we can. Let's see if we can get the Cheryl. We need to spread a little bit more hook pressure, I think. Oh, thanks. She was like, I will not be taking, I will not be taking a single hit today. No, sir. We don't take hits in my neck of the woods. What are you doing? Uh, we might have been chasing her for too long, honestly. Yeah, we chased her for too long. We're going to leave her. We'll go check and see what's going on over here. I wonder, they might be on the gin here in Garage. The Meg's broken for a little while, which is good. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get this pain res stack off here. Okay. On this gin? Hello, Megging. Come here, Megatron. Okay. Dissolution's bugged? How is it bugged? Alright, chat. So that's two people we have on Deathhook right now, which is pretty good. I would still like to get the Cheryl if we can, because we want to have as much hook pressure as we possibly can. The more hook pressure you have on survivors, the less likely they are going to be to um, take body blocks and stuff. Because survivors are very, very petrified of taking hits. And if you have them on, like, a certain amount of hook states, then they just, they full-blown panic. I'm not gonna lie to you, not playing Shaq at all is a choice. Like, not, choosing to not play Shaq whatsoever was a choice. Honey, like, you're, you're already, you're already injured. You might as well play around the drone. Let me break this because there's really nothing that way for her to use. Remember, chat, when you break pallets, you always want to break them on the opposite direction of where there is stuff to use so when i was chasing the when i was chasing the meg there when i was chasing the meg there she has nothing right here except this little pallet that i can easily play around but if i would have broke it from this way she could have ran the main actually there was nothing for her to use over here either well in any case the point is is that you always want to break stuff away from... You, want to, you always want to corral the survivor as far away from usable things as possible. Exactly. I wonder if 
there's any drones we should recall. I think we're fine, huh? They're going to complete that one over in, um, in Garage for sure, I think. You know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it at the front of Garage. Yep. All right, now we've got Kate on death hook. The smart thing to do at this point would be to try to find the Claudette and commit to the Claudette. Because if we can get the Claudette out of the game, especially when the Claudette is broken, yeah, that's what we're going to do. The Claudette's broken right now, and we've got seven stacks of save. So we're literally just going to commit to her. Oh! She got me. That was really, really smart. Yeah, we're going to commit to the Claudette and get her out of the game. So that we stay with five stacks of save. Uh, and I guess the... I guess we'll stay with six stacks then. There's no shot! How did... How? What? How? How? What? Okay. Okay. What? That was wild. All right, let's go right after the Cheryl. Fuck it. Looks like the Kate and the, um, the Kate and the Claudette are probably healing each other right now somewhere. Let's see if we can find them. Last we saw them, they were over here in this corner. Here they are. What are you doing? Did y'all see how she tried to throw that pebble chat? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah. Now we just have a permanent five stacks of save. This way. Come here, Cheryl. I just want to tickle your bum hole. Had to walk a little bit. Now we know where Kate's at. Question is, are we going to get to her before she finds Hatch? Um, so, chat, that's why, uh, that's why you don't just vault randomly without paying attention. GG's, my friend.
Uh, we have two people who aren't Globes, the Kate and the Meg. So the person who died first and the person who died last. What is something that you can uniquely do? Let's get it done, chat. Um, here's the thing about Nostromo. Here's the thing about Nostromo. You, oh, Jesus, game stuttering. There's not a lot of strong loops that you have to shut down. More so is there's a lot, there's a one side of the map that is strong for survivors and one side of the map that's strong for killers. Are you saying you came out of the closet, Braddy? Hey, Diva, how you doing, baby? That was a really good bait. You cheeky dick waffle, did you disable my drone? Come here. Come here. Yeah, go out that. So when you're running this window chat, you never want to drop off of the side because they can just run back up the ramp. Um, so the best thing that you always want to do is you want to go to the ramp to chase them so that they have to run out into the uh, area. Also, how did I not surge the generator in of inside of Maine? I feel like that should have been close enough. Oh, whatever. We hit ourselves with a nice pain res. All right, let's go find out where all of our friends are. You disabled my drone, didn't you, Squidward? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that was going to hit, honestly. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I should be able to catch her here. Probably not, though, huh? Wait, actually? Yeah, we get her. Nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a pain res proc off of her. Which we probably can, because that gen was pretty far. All right, let's go through that. We still got six... Or we still got four drones... Let's go, let's go take a trip to, uh, actually, Jack, we're going to leave that drone alone. They can have that one because it's really far out. Um, so we're going to let them have that drone and we're instead we're going to try to protect over here. One thing you want to remember whenever you're playing killer chat is you want to try to keep in mind of drone, pl or of, um, gen placement, not drone, gen placement. Um, so that you're always doing the, so that you're always doing the most effective patrols. Like if you end up, if you're on, so he, yeah, there's somebody on that gen. I'm going to leave them down there. If you end up on, say, Dead Dog, for example, the gen that's on the top of main building very often is not a gen worth chasing because it takes a lot of time and pressure to get up to that gen. And because it takes so much time to get up to that gin, patrolling it is usually not effective. Also, you combined it with the fact that main building is incredibly strong. Well, this was just a stupid play on her part. Um, you combine that with the fact that main building is incredibly strong. And you kind of end up with... Um, you kind of end up with a gin that's just wasting time if you go for it. So, you always try to figure out which gins aren't going to be worth the chase. Yeah. What the fuck? 
What happened? Please fix the grab mechanic behavior. Please. Please fix this fucking grab mechanic. I am begging you. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that they need to fix the grab mechanic. Jesus. That was so unnecessary. I went this way. They're going back for the save on the Dwight? Weird. Okay, let's go patrol the other gens. Oh, they just they just fucked a gen or uh drone over here. She was really smart there. So what she did, chat, was instead of draw, when she when she knew she was gonna take the hit, instead of dropping the pallet, she started just she just took the speed boost and ran with it, because it's better to get distance than to waste time dropping the pallet when you're already injured. So if you ever get injured in, uh, if you're ever gonna like take a hit, what just happened? If you're ever gonna like take a hit underneath a pallet or oh, by a pallet and you're healthy, there is legitimately zero reason for you to give up, for you to give up distance to drop that pallet. Okay, so we're kind of in a bad position here. Oh yeah, we're in a very bad position. Um, mm, we have to protect this gen now. I did not want to protect this gen, but we have to. We also... Hi. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wait, I can paint, I can use you for a pain res. Random. So anyway, like I was, like I was saying, um, right now we're in a really like kind of awkward spot where we have to do this very wide patrol, which is what I didn't want to happen. I wanted to protect, um, I wanted to protect the closer gin spread, but now we have that gin way out there. We have nobody dead. We have two people on death hook, which is the Dwight and the, and the Shiva. So ideally, ideally, we want to get one of them out, which it looks like we can. I think the Dwight went this way. It looks like we're gonna have to get the Dwight out of the game um, to make our lives a little bit easier. Thankfully, it didn't look like very many gins were like very far. He fucked up there. All right, so that's good. We got the Dwight. Go ahead and get him situ situated here. And we have a chance to get the Shiva too. She fucked up. She ran right into us because she wasn't paying attention to where we were going. She assumed that we were just gonna follow directly behind her. So one of the important things that you have to do, chat, whenever you're running a killer, one of the important things that I want you guys to learn about how to run killers better is to just stop assuming that they're gonna follow your exact pathing. AI, killers are not robots, right? They're not AI. They are, they are going to try to cut you off. They're gonna try to do other things. So it's very, very important. It's very, very important that you make sure that you are attempting, at the very least attempting, to predict whether or not they're gonna go for like something to cut you off or something like that. She just assumed I was gonna follow her around that corner and I didn't and that kind of fucked her. 
Also, the um, that drone right there on the on the basement stairs is is actually insane. <laughs> it's, it's it's kind of ridiculous. I was almost certain she'd be over here. I thought I heard her. Interesting. Damn, okay. Went for the fucking save like a Chad. There's no way you're still down there though. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> that shit was so funny. That shit was so funny because Bran, Bran was going against a skull merchant, and uh, he was like, "You're you're an ass. You're an evil person for putting this drone here." And then Ambrosia was like, "I put that drone there," and Bran was like, "Did I stutter?" <laughs> Is it the Shiva not watching your movement that turned the match in your favor here? Uh, no, it was a couple of things. Um, for example, when I realized that I needed to get the Dwight out of the game, um, instead of, like, trying to... So, okay. I, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Um, so, when I realized I had to get the Dwight out of the game, when Dwight got unhooked, he should not have immediately jumped on this gin. Because he knew for a fact that I was going to come back to this gin. Okay? When you are on death hook and you're injured and you don't have time to heal, do not get on a gin with a big amount of progress. Because the killer is going to go but the killer knows this gin. I knew this gin had a lot of progress. I know they saved Dwight on this hook. What should have ideally happened is they unhooked the Dwight and then both of them run to this corner over here and they heal here. And then the Dwight would be healed up instead of, uh, was he broken? I don't remember if he was broken or not. That might make a difference. The point is, is that even if he was broken, being on this gen isn't a good idea. He should have been far away from this area and made it harder for me to find him. So he should have ideally went to either that far gen over there where nobody was working and I knew that that gen didn't have progress. Actually, that's the only place he could have went. Um, so that was the first, that was the first mistake. And then, well, no, he got broken by my drones. He had gotten healed a couple times. Maybe you're right. Nah, I'll have to look. I swear he was, he was healthy in the beginning. Um, the second mistake was the Shiva. Interesting. The second mistake was the Shiva who ran over here. Um, and didn't look behind her, but it wasn't all their fault because I played, I played smartly. I made the decisions that I needed to make to bring the game more toward my favor. She's at that gate. She's not. Interesting. Actually, she might be at the other gate. She might have just crouched through, which can happen. Because if she's just standing still opening the gate, she's not going to be scanned by the drone. <clears throat> you can tell if a drone's been disabled too, chat. Because, um, because it will be lifted into the air. Interesting. I wonder where she's at. Oh, she is over here. Nice. I'm not going to make it to her. Really?
All right, chat. Let's see if there's any toxic comments. Any globes? Oh, they're all globes. No comments today. Okay. Interesting. Game six. Let's check it out, chat. Okay, so Cold Tower is actually really interesting. Uh, one of the things that we want to try to do with Cold Tower is we want to shut this main building down a little bit. Um, so we're going to start by putting uh, this drone up, and I'm also going to just preemptively break these walls. This is wasting a little bit of time, but I would much rather have these walls broken. I would much rather have these walls broken than, um, than not broken when I need them to be broken. So if you're not locking down a 3-gen and guarding it, that could be why you're not getting as many comments. Well, that would be ridiculous because Skull Merchant can no longer lock down 3-gens effectively. Or at least, at least Skull Merchant can no longer lock down 3-gens as effectively or more effectively than any other killer can. Skull Merchant, can, Skull Merchant locks down 3-gens as well as the Trapper does. All right, so now we're now that we've got a couple of drones set up, we've got a couple of areas. We're gonna go ahead and start our first chase. Uh, if we don't get an injure within the next, I'd say 10 to 15 seconds, we'll probably abandon him and go check on some other stuff. So he's gonna play this car. I'm just gonna W key and eat the stun, honestly. Yeah, it was like that. And we're gonna back up. What's this, pallet gem? Yeah. So another thing too, chat, if you'd note, if you notice what happened there, um, whenever I just straight followed him through that and ate the stun, what he assumed was I was the kind of killer that just follows straight behind him. Um, and so he ended up fucking up at that loop back there by not paying attention to where I was and instead just running forward. So I made him run into me. We've already lost a gen and we've got two injured. We're kind of at a bad spot right now, but that's okay. He's about to get broken. Oh, we're going to moonwalk this every time, chat. Every time. Oh, oh, this is so gross. One, two, three. Oh, there's one right there. Bro, I was like, dude, where's all my scourge hooks? Holy shit, that is gross. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a pickle. We've lost two gins, basically um, not doing shit. Uh, we have one lock on on the shiva and it looks like we could probably get another one on this claire if we can thread her in the main building uh one of the things that's going to be very difficult about this is that uh yeah she's got she so this window isn't as strong as it would be if those doors were broke if those doors weren't broken but the problem is is that now she's got this pallet here i'm gonna have to break this pallet i have to break that pallet i don't really have a choice so the Shiva's over here kind of hiding. So we're just going to put this up. No, I'm sorry. It's the Yui. Why did I say Shiva? I'm stupid. There we go. And now we've got our next hook. Basically, what we want to do from this point, chat, because we're kind of in, like, bad situations, is we want to set up a little bit of a web and keep them in that web. So we're going to keep that drone in main building. It's going to stay there. Uh, we're going to keep the drone in shack because it's just better. Because um, they're going to run to shack for cover. Survivors love shack. If, if survivor in trouble, survivor go shack. That's what they've been taught this entire time. That's how they're going to play it. So that's how we're going to do this. What did I tell you, chat? If survivor in trouble, survivor go shack. It's like a monkey brain. Survivor in trouble, survivor go Shaq. Shaq pallet is broken. No, sorry, Shaq pallet is here. He's gonna drop it though. Told you. Now we've got Shaq pallet out of the way and we're about to get him on his second hook which is gonna create a shitload of pressure. See if we can get him to drop this. Yep. 
and he runs into a tree, and then we swing, and then we put him on a hook. Learn, learn to moonwalk effectively. Basically, what you want to do to moonwalk effectively is you want to uh, see when you're going to end up with a um, balanced, very balanced, very, very balanced, much balanced landing. Um, you want to see when you're going to end up rounding a corner and then you just flip around um, before your red stain would hit that corner. Where the fuck did she go? Oh. Honestly, chat, we're probably end up gonna getting a. F Why did I just hear a scream? Am I stupid? The fuck. Oh, they might end up getting a four out here. Oh my lord, they have very, very effectively broken our pressure. Uh, the best thing to do, the asshole thing to do, would be to go get Dwight out of the game at this current moment. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna kick that. I'm gonna recall this. I'm gonna kick those. And then I'm gonna go check. Dwight's probably in this on this gen here. No? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, Shiva kind of fucked herself here. Yeah, that was not a good idea. So now I'm gonna break this because I have a down, I have a guaranteed down and the hinder is not gonna uh, hurt me as much. Before, if I would have broken it and continued to try to do the chase, what would have happened to me, chat, basically, is I would have given up like an insane amount of pressure for no reason. But by leaving the pallet until I could safely kick it without losing too much distance, I gained a little bit more. The problem now is that we are extremely split for our pressure. And when I say extremely split, I mean extremely split. Um, so this is honestly the point where we probably need to commit to the Dwight. The unfortunate thing is that if we can't get enough pressure on the Dwight, then we're gonna end up losing a shitload of distance, a shitload of um, pressure that we need. The Dwight is death hook and we need him to stay that way or we need him dead but if I can't get an injure in the next, say, five to six seconds, then I'm kind of fucked here. He's going to vault this window. He's not. He's going to W key. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're... Hey, Mad Paul, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um. Okay, so we're kind of... <sighs> we needed that Dwight injured right there. The fact that we didn't get him injured right there is very, very bad for us. We're gonna leave that here and go check this. I think they're probably, oh, there's Claire. Wait, we can get our last pain res stack. Oh wait, Shiva didn't use a pain res stack. Interesting, okay, that's good, that's good, chat. That missed? That missed? All right, let's go check this gen. She's broken for a while, so we can leave her there. I don't think she even knows how to run this. Oh, Dwight. Sprint bursting Dwight. Jesus, okay. Shiva's another one of our pain rest stacks. So we're gonna see. The Yui's here. Yeah, there she is. I don't need them coming in for a pallet save. So we're going to cause a little mayhem. Get everybody in. Oh, she's crawling. Oh, my God. You left the pallet? Thank you. What? <laughs> you left the pallet? That is wild. I do. Oh, wow. I appreciate that, actually. Okay. All right, this is the time where we commit to Dwight. We've got the Shiva on her second hook. All the gins have very small progress. 
We commit to Dwight here and we get him dead. We're gonna kick this. He has nowhere to go. Hello? Thank you. All right, so now that Dwight's dead, that that gives us a lot of free pressure. Um, we also know that the Jins in general don't really have a lot. The Claire is the Claire is injured. The Yui is broken. Oh, this is good. This is really really good. Wait, this is so good. The Yui's broken. Oh, that's so good. Wait, that's so sexy. We're gonna put her in basement so they have to waste time coming get her. Now I'm gonna guess that Claire's working on that gin down there, but if we can get, if the Shiva is right here, which may or may not be the case, Shiva's not right here. She was right here though. We're just gonna leave that there. We're gonna go check on that other gen. We know where they've been working. So whenever you're playing killer chat, whenever you're playing killer and you're trying to like get your macro sense better, I want you want to you want to be aware of where they've been working. I know they've been working on that gen, so I'm gonna check that gen. And honestly, I fucked up. I didn't think they were working on this gen fully, and that cost me. So we haven't hooked this Claire yet, which means that going, getting her down here is bad for us. But we don't know, we know where the other survivors are. We go, we go for them. No? They're not at that gate? Interesting. Oh, they fucked me. Very well played. Yeah. They, 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 they did very, very well going for the opposite gate. Stop trying to blind me, fucking weirdo. Oh, Hatch is up here. So honestly, chat, my best bet probably just would have been to stick around and let the, um, let the Yui die on that hook while keeping the Shiva away. And then it would have been a 2v1 scenario in the end game. And then I probably could have caught the, the Shiva and gotten her on a hook. And then I would have gotten the 3k. But as it stands, I get a 1k. Yui's taking the time to gloat, by the way. I'm just going to get all just pull these back. They put an offering to spread out hooks? No. They did bring one for more chests, though. The Yui is very desperate for me to watch her leave. Oh, I've heard, I've heard stories, I've heard stories of, um, I've heard stories of people who were, like, uh, killers who were, like, stuck in a match for, like, half an hour because the survivors were just that desperate to be him.